In this video, we're going to look at some of my highlights from this month's Power BI August 2022 updates, including things like the new updates they made to the metrics visual, new mobile formatting options, all of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So we can start with the conditional formatting for data labels, which is all about allowing your users to conditionally format the data labels in your charts and visuals based on the individual points in that visual. So in the past, before this change, it seems that the data labels especially when you're using conditional formatting, the data labels in them comes out as the same color. And that's because the conditional formatting rules that you apply to the visual is applied as a whole aggregated result of the calculation instead of individual points in your visual. And now with this month's update, that behavior has now changed. So you can now set different colors based on different points in your visual. And here's an example of when you might want to set individual colors in your visual. You might want to set colors based on certain thresholds. I don't see any references to this in the documentation, but one limitation to this feature, at least at the moment, is that adding categories or legends in your visual will disable the conditional formatting. I believe it's because they will add this in the future iterations of this feature. But for now, if you're not using legends, you can apply conditional formatting in your charts. Next is a new change to how you select the sensitivity labels from the reports in tenant that require it. So before, if you wanted to set sensitivity labels over reports, you'll have to do it through a ribbon dropdown or through the Power BI service. Now, a dialog box will open instead, allowing your users to select a sensitivity label for their reports before they're able to save. Sensitivity labels essentially allow you to control data access so people who shouldn't wouldn't have access to your data. And I actually cover how to set this up for yourself if you are a tenant. Uh, so check out my previous video on sensitivity labels if you haven't yet. Speaking of security, there's been an update to the data loss prevention policies with Power BI, which as I understand is a public preview feature they announced back in December. I've not really utilized this myself, but from what I understand, it's a way to control access and inappropriate sharing of sensitive information like credit cards or addresses. It uses machine learning algorithms to detect the type of data that you have in your database or in your data set, and it matches it up to the correct DLP policies that you have set up in your tenant. Now, this feature has been extended to Power BI as well. So if you upload sensitive information that have some DLP rules assigned to it defined by your business, Power BI service will add warnings like this one, for example, to ensure that the data is used appropriately. This feature needs to be set up in the Microsoft purview for it to work. And as far as I know, it also requires a premium workspace to work. So if you have a premium workspace that uh, you're already using, you can test this feature right now. The next one that I'm excited about is the metrics visual, which you're now able to use and show as individual metrics instead of entire scorecards in your Power BI reports. So in the last couple of months, they've added this ability to add your scorecards as visuals in Power BI desktop, which you can use and add manual data yourself or connect to pre-existing data, which is a great visual by itself. And if you want to learn more about metrics or formerly called goals, I actually covered it in a previous video. So check it out if you haven't yet. Next is mobile formatting you're now able to format text box visuals to optimize your text on smaller screens. From the mobile app, you can now choose to follow metrics. So when you're viewing one in mobile, you can choose more options than follow metric. Now, any metrics you follow will show up on the following section of the metrics tab, making it easy to keep track of metrics that matter to you. And that's really it for this month's update. So as usual, I didn't cover 
everything that is in the feature update summary list, only the ones that I think are worth highlighting. If you want to see the full list and read it for yourself, I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description box below. Thanks for watching, as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.